Okay, so moving on to the next news. Are you are, are okay. you with us? Yeah, I'm with us. So I'm guessing this is like the police report that they or like the police poster they put up. It says missing chicken, loud, belligerent, non-cooperative, foul-smelling, won't leave. <laughs> if you have lost your chicken, call us. <laughs> They're like the police. This thing will not leave. <laughs> Go get your chicken back. They're super annoyed by it. Belligerent. But there's like there's Bel- like periods after each thing. So it's like missing chicken. Right. Period. Loud. Belligerent. Non-cooperative. <laughs> foul-smelling. Won't leave. Non-cooperative. Like what chicken is cooperative? Okay. So apparently it was a Facebook post. If you have lost your chicken, call us. Serious police work here, folks. <laughs> that wow. headline was so funny when I saw it, though. <laughs> Foul smelling. Foul won't smelling. Leave. <laughs> wow. They're telling it to leave. Like, get out of here. Go. <laughs> like, they're expecting it to realize what they're saying, to understand it. And it's You're just, not it's welcome like, not here. <laughs> get out. You stink. Shoo. Go clean yourself up. <laughs> You belligerent asshole! They're just from inside, like they're looking at the window. They're saying, they're shouting. It's just, it's just a bird sitting there, like no idea what's going on. <laughs> it's just he's squawking at them or whatever sound it's making, being very loud. Belligerent. <laughs> Did you enjoy that one? That one was good. that one was a good one. All right, here we go. <laughs> Like a horror movie, Caterpill- <laughs> Caterpill- <laughs> God. <laughs> you can't even get it out! Caterpillar silences tomatoes cry for help. Scientists find- <laughs> <laughs> First of all, the scientists are saying it's like a horror movie. <laughs> so, like- what is going on here? So the caterpillar is just eating the tomato, obviously, but it's crying for help? The tomato maybe is releasing some type of email. Oh, yes. It's the same scientist as the spinach. Oh, oh my god. That was hard to get through. Well, how does a tomato cry for help? I want to know. I want to know. I think it's going to be something super underwhelming. <sighs> At least the other one would actually have legitimate science behind this. What could this possibly be about? All right, there's probably like a uh, a pheromone that that's uh, given off by the tomatoes. That Elon maybe Musk tomatoes... has something to do with this. I feel like he's, <laughs> he has to be somewhere on this. <laughs> Elon Musk, is like, please, the tomatoes are in no harm. <laughs> the caterpillars are are, are not evil. He's always <laughs> trying to play down any type of <laughs> weird stuff happening. <laughs> Like, nobody's asked these questions. They say, please, the tomatoes are in no pain. (laughs) You're bringing attention to this issue, Elon. You don't have to say anything. Please, it's not like it's a horror movie for these tomatoes. I swear. They're perfectly (laughs) fine. The scientists do find out it is like a horror movie. (laughs) The scientists are terrified of the caterpillars. (laughs) Like, my God. They're doing this to the tomatoes. Imagine what they could do to us. Never look at a caterpillar the same. (laughs) All right, please, we have to dig into this. Perhaps the time is ripe with inspiration from a new okay. study. <laughs> is that groan inducing? With inspiration from a new study at Pennsylvania State University. Scientists found that a caterpillar called the tomato fruit worm not only chomps on tomatoes in their leaves, but also deposits enzyme laden saliva on the plant, interfering with its ability to cry for help. <laughs> So usually a tomato can cry for help. Ah, oh, help me! I'm getting eaten. At least like, they can right. say something. I'm like the spinach. So, they have to send emails. <laughs> here's the thing. Even if a tomato can cry for help, what are the other tomatoes going to do? <laughs> to come to help them. <laughs> they roll on over. <laughs> it all sounds a bit improbable. Starting with the concept of plants crying for help. Well, no, duh. Scientists also scoffed at that deal when it was first proposed a few decades ago. 
<laughs> Please. <laughs> Tomatoes crying for help. Yeah, right. Well, they were Grow definitely up. proven wrong. It's, it's exactly what you thought it was going to be. But it has been shown time and time again that when under attack, plants can, en can emit chemical distress signals, causing their peers to mount some sort of defense. Okay, but... Crying for help isn't the right way to put it, though. <clears throat> right, I, I'm not asking you to help me. It's more like a warning signal. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Okay. <laughs> help me! <laughs> help me! A classic example is the smell of a freshly mown lawn, which prompts the release of protective compounds in nearby blades of grass that have yet to be cut. <clears throat> in some cases, mm. plant distress signals can even summon help from other species. That's what happens with a tomato. When caterpillars nibble on the plant's leaves, the leaf pores release vol volatile chemicals that are um, detected by a type of parasite. A wasp that lays eggs inside caterpillars. Wow. That's... Not to overwork the horror movie analogy, but as with the hapless as <laughs> uh, but as with the hapless astronauts in the Aliens franchise, it doesn't end well for the caterpillar. <laughs> Wow. Dude, that's pretty, that's kind of cool, actually, like, that that's all, like, worked out in that manner. It's, the tomatoes are calling in the thing that it knows will kill the... Yeah, man. Nature's uh, crazy. Lost. Yeah. It's still a funny title. <laughs> Tries for help. Oh, I guess it is kind of like a horror movie, then. Wow. The caterpillars got what they deserved, then. Yeah. <laughs> or crush some death deserved. of a wasp crawling out of them. <laughs> just for eating by the way that's all it They're is like, just da, 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 da. This, this is a plant it's not gonna like, have any pain or feel anything so I'm hungry I'm gonna eat this and then the next thing they know they got a fucking wasp like planting eggs inside them yeah. oh my gosh I kind of feel bad for the caterpillars now yeah so then they, they start to fight back. They're like, we're going to silence you, you tomatoes. <laughs> silence you. all out war now. <laughs> we know you're the one sending out the signals to the wasps. <laughs> who are you working for? You work... Wait, what? It's we know who they're working them. for. The, the scientists are standing back watching this war grow on. And they're like, man, it's a horror movie over here. 